Pratibhimbavada Sanskrit, Pratibhimbavada or the theory of reflection, whose origin can be traced to the Brahma Sutra 2.ie.50, is credited to Padmapada, the founder of the Vivana school of Advaita Vedanta and the author of Pankapadika which is a commentary on Sankara's Brahma Sutra Bhashya. According to the Vivana school, Brahman is the locus of avidya, and which, with regard to the relation existing between the jiva and Brahman, concludes that the jiva is a mere reflection of its prototype bimba, i.e. of Brahman, and therefore, identical with its essence, Brahman. This school holds the view that the Mahavakya, Tat Tvamasi, is sufficient for the attainment of enlightenment, of the realization of the identity between the self and reality. Topic. Vedanta views The followers of Avichedavada, the theory of limitation credited to Vakaspati Misra, the founder of the Bhamati school, are of the view that Pratabhimbavada fails to explain how absolute consciousness, which has no sensible qualities, can be reflected. The followers of Pratabhimbavada are of the view that limitation, implying ignorance, actually separates the universal self from the individual self which cannot be the locus of avidya, that the modified consciousness cannot be the ground or support for the limiting adjunct which produces it, but, both the Avichedavada and the Pratabhimbavada do not escape the dualism incipient in them, from which drawback Sankara's concept of Anavakaniya Maya does not suffer. Anavakaniya means, something, although positive, is neither determinable as real, nor again as real. The former lays emphasis on the aspect of Aveda and the latter emphasizes more on the aspect of Beda difference. Sankara sees no connection whatsoever between the self Atman and the mind-body complex except through a vidya that gives no real connection but only an imagined connection. <laughs> Opposite view and its refutation Vardaraja, although refuting non-dualism since plurality of Brahman's attributes is inescapable if the primary sense of the scriptures interpreted is taken seriously, accepts a limited similarity between jiva and Brahman but contends that if the reflection of Brahman stands for the jiva, the embodied soul, the same, owing to the obvious dissimilarities referred to, cannot be identified with Brahman then such a comparison only succeeds in annihilating the soul. Sankara regards the reflection of consciousness as wholly unreal. In his Manisha Panchakam Sankara argues that distinctions if any between the one consciousness reflected in the hearts of all and its reflection are delusory. According to the Vedanta the light of consciousness reflected in the pools of thought in the mind-intellect is the individualized sentient ego in each one of us, this is the theory of reflection. Vidyaranya reiterates that Abhasa and Pratibhimba refer to slight or partial manifestation which resembles the real but does not have the properties of the real entity. <laughs> <laughs> Role of consciousness and mind The individual soul is only the reflection of the Atman on the mind, this reflection gives rise to a separate sense of ego. The pure consciousness of the Atman is unchangeable, as the reflection of its consciousness falls upon the mind the mind takes the form of the Atman and appears to be conscious. The mind is able to perceive because it reflects both the Atman and the object of perception Yoga Sutras IV Whereas Padmapada in his Pankapadika and Prakasatman in his Pankapadika Vivana hold that Ishvara and Jiva as reflections of pure consciousness, the reflection that Avidya superimposed on Brahman receives, that the reflected image is as real as the prototype. Savinatman in his Samspasariraka states that pure consciousness reflected in Nescience is Ishvara and the same pure consciousness reflected in the inner sense is the Jiva on which account Ishvara, as a reflected image, is subject to the defects of avidya inasmuch as when characterized by nescience the self is construed as a witness, when identified with the intellect, it is taken to be the knower. 
Pratibhimbavada implies the belief that the whole universe is merely a projection of the mind, has no essence of its own and is unreal, the mind simply projects its own contents on the world and believes them to be real. <laughs> 